but dudes written a product of my shrewd pinning. Confused in it, I'm saying I've chewed mics to a crew likes delusions, exuberant might. Welcome to Three Count Commentaries. This is your host, Mongo Slay, and this is an absurd, absurd story that I'm going to bring to you today. It's so absurd that I got to talk about it. Fuming Mum says Smith's WWE toy glamorizes violence against the NHS. So a woman in England, somewhere in England, was offended by a WWE toy and says it's inappropriate and glamorizes violence against healthcare workers. Oh my God. I'm not going to read the whole thing. At least I'm going to try not to. I'm going to read the important bits. It says, Sabrina Fitzsimmons, 41, was appalled when she saw the toy retailer advertising the toy during an ad break on TV last month. The mum of three was sat on the sofa with NHS healthcare partner Chrissy, 56, when the commercial bust onto the TV screens. In the 22nd clip, WWE superstar Drew McIntyre declares kids, quote, can tear Slambulance apart for the ultimate brawl. Different characters can be seen booting through the ambulance's side panel, ripping lights, windows, and doors off the vehicle. I'm going to skip away. I'm going to skip some, uh, like a, maybe like a paragraph. It says, it also claims that the breakaway pieces, so kids can, quote, crush the hood to uncover the engine and smash figures through the roof. After seeing the ad, Sabrina pinned a complaint to the store and slammed the store on social media. She said, but she claimed she was, quote, fobbed off with identical apologies for any upset or disappointment caused. Sabrina from Bournemouth, Dorset, said, quote, the toy is massively inappropriate. I wouldn't purchase that for my child. I certainly wouldn't get behind advertising it. I just think you're crossing a line of ethics and morals. WWE has a huge following from the little ones right up to the adults, including my 13-year-old son. I think it just sends the wrong message. These people in the healthcare sector saved our lives. I just found it really offensive, given the pressure I know the services have been under and the sacrifices they've made. Is this good at any time? Not just after a pandemic to advocate violence against emergency workers? It's never a good thing. After commenting on the store's Facebook page, Sabrina received identical responses from Smith's Toys. The message reads, Hi there. Thanks for in touch. I guess it's supposed to say, uh, thanks for reaching out or whatever. Apologies for any disappointment caused by this. I can see from our system that you have been in touch with an agent regarding this issue. Apologies again for any upset or a disappointment caused. Best wishes. Sabrina said, Smith's Toys said exactly the same thing in their email response to me that they said on Facebook. That was it. I would like to have some kind of acknowledgement Oh, actually, you make a valid point here. We need to go back and maybe reconsider it. Sabrina Facebook comment reads, Can I ask what the logic is in advertising a toy which encourages the destruction of an ambulance? At a time during a pandemic when, the, when there are active campaigns to reduce violence towards essential workers. And considering what the NHS has done for us over the past year, I find the toy and the advert for it offensive and inappropriate. I would like to know why your company felt this was a good toy to get behind and advertise. WWE stated that the toy was made by Mattel and sold by Smiths. Smiths and Mattel have been contacted for comment. I'm guessing either one have done so. So, this is Attack of the Karens. Uh, this is absolute lunacy. WWE went PG because of people like this. Whenever you think you want to ask the question, man, I wish WWE could be edgier. You can't even make a toy, breaking up a toy ambulance without people complaining about it. This is like when people complain about anime titties. It's not real. Okay. It's not, a, <laughs> it's not real. This is dumb. Okay. This is dumb. 
I know uh, England is a little bit more sensitive. Like the United States is becoming a lot more like Europe. We didn't. We never used to be as censorious as Europe is. I know there was this whole thing about the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles in England, um, and that it was because of they talked about ninjas. <laughs> it was some like articles about ninjas. So because there were MPs worried about Death Stars and shurikens, they censored the hell out of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I know they're starting to do the same thing in the United States now with, you know, taking uh, the gun away from Elmer Fudd and Looney Tunes and that kind of nonsense. Taking, I guess, I don't even, I never even heard Yosemite Sam was supposed to be there, but I know they took his gun. DC Comics uh, forced a, a, the change of a, uh, a Wonder Woman cover. Um, one because of they, you could see her panty line in one of them, and another one had to be altered because a male character was carrying a gun, so they changed it to a flashlight. And there have been several books, the GI Joe comics. If you probably have seen the Project Veritas videos on what's going on with Hasbro, well, you got the GI Joe comics. Well, a couple of years back were transitioning away from guns and more towards lasers. So we, we, you've seen a lot of this stuff. If you are, if you operate in the cultural space, like we do, you see a lot of this crazy sensorious stuff. This is the root of it. The root of it is the Karens, the people who don't want their kids to have guns, the people who don't want their kids to play football, who don't want their kids to get dirty, who don't want their kids to watch wrestling at all. And therefore, you have to cut, cut, cut whenever somebody throwing a punch. You know, you have to do, or WWE gets blamed for it. All this type of stuff is insane. This lady is insane, and she's one person. But how many people do you think, if they heard that and sat down and talked with her, she might be able to convince them that this was, you know, too violent for children or something like that? I guarantee you there's more than one. If you say, well, it's a glorifying violence. All it takes is one crackpot to make it public. One crackpot makes it public and they're going to garner attention. WWE and Mattel and Smith, they did a great job not responding to this nonsense because you only really empower it by responding. But it says a lot that this is the state of, you know, Western culture. I'm going I'm to link America. And this chick, you know, like I said, she's one person. But WWE gets inundated with these not with this nonsense all day. I don't know if you guys know that David Bixen span. One of the funnier things that he actually did do is he did a uh, a FOIA request on the FCC, which is the um, government agency that takes place with you know censorship on TV and stuff like that. And he collected a lot of the funnier uh, FCC quote unquote complaints towards WWE. And I'm, I have some right here. So since I'm on the subject of people censoring WWE or trying to by being absolutely silly and ridiculous, let's go through some of them. So let's see. This is from December 20th, 2015. Uh, it's towards Monday Night Raw. It says, according to WWE, their shows are PG. They claim not to have any sexually explicit programming. For months now, a group of characters known as the New Day have come out on television gyrating. Hold on, that's J I R A T T I N G, by the way. That is not how gyrating is spelled. Uh, have come out on TV gyrating their pelvic area while, while wearing pants that are tight in the crotch, leaving nothing to the imagination. Other wrestlers have done it too, such as Wade Barrett. I know that I can change the channel and I don't have to watch. But if the WWE claims to be PG, where they don't show blood, women shaking their butts, and other, quote, non-violent, non-sexual material, then they should practice it with all characters and content. The WWE doesn't have a way to contact them to file a complaint. They should practice the, quote, all or nothing theory. I have no problem with blood or them hitting each other with sledgehammers, but if they claim to be PG, then they should be forced to practice it. The person who came this, this, this is, that's just one. Another one from uh, 2014. Uh, WWE is impersonating police officers and it was recorded during the live show. I know it's very much illegal in all states to do that. Please take away their broadcasting rights and find them. Genius. 
Another one. This is from 2014 as well. On August A U G E S T uh, 18th, 2014, Dean Ambrose was assaulted, A-S-S-U-L-E-T-E-D, that's not how you spell assault, <laughs> by members, M-E-M-B-E-R, <laughs> apostrophe S, of the authority. And so, <laughs> on August 18th, 2014, Dean Ambrose was assaulted by members of the authority. And they filed an FCC complaint about this. Uh, this is, here's another one, it's from 2013. Very graphic viewing of false interpretation, misspelled, I-N-T-E-R-P-R-I-T-A-T-I-O-N. That is not how you spell interpretation. Very graphic viewing of false interpretation of religious practices, striking fear in elderly neighbors, women, and children in the community. This is a church-going community. We have over five different denominational churches and half a mile radius including two high schools, a junior high school, and two or three elementary schools. I even attend college not too far from where I live now. Please locate the source and show them what it means to be a decent, that's misspelled as well, D-E-A-C-E-N-T, that's not how you spell decent, and stop clogging our television programming with garbage. That goes for all Comcast Xfinity stations. <laughs> <laughs> This is great. This one is actually pretty good. <laughs> that goes for all Comcast and Xfinity stations. They really need to put a lid on things. Thank you for reading and appreciate your concern. <laughs> this is from 2013. They were dead serious. Here's another one from 2014. WWE's refusing to change up their storyline on, Rus on Resev. R-E-S-U-V. That's not how you spell Rusev. <laughs> they're refusing to change up their storyline on Resev and Big Show on October the 12th, 20th on Monday Night Raw live Resev, R-E-S-A-V which is misspelled again but in a different way was about to rip down the American flag on national TV WWE always tapes the shows so there is your evidence but for three months Resev, R-E-S-U-V and his manager man manger not manager, manger, M-A-N-G-E-R, Bad Mouse America. Just attempting to rip down the flag is an act of terrorism and it is illegal. This needs to be dealt with, exclamation point. WWE will not do a thing to change their storyline up, two exclamation points. Also, Resev misspelled yet again wrong, R-E-S-V-E, assaulted a member of the armed forces on national TV live. WWE needs to be removed from airtime of all networks until they change their storyline according to the laws. <sighs> this one's from 2013. About a month ago, I filed a complaint against WWE for nudity on their Monday Night Raw broadcast. I do not know what came of that investigation. But there was another wardrobe malfunction by the WWE Divas, Brie Bella, which exposed her breast and nipple. I submit the following link from a wrestling news site as proof. As well, I have DVR recording of the show. And it's, a fr it's from WrestleZone, of all places. Thank you again for looking into this matter. And this is another one. Uh, this is from Cartoon Network, though. This, I was watching, I was watching the, this is from 2013. I was watching the Cartoon Network with my younger sister and was quite alarmed at the new Fruity Pebbles commercial featuring one, quote unquote, John Cena, a professional wrestler and the champion of the WWE, quote, Federation. The distressing line that caught me by surprise was a line implying that there should be a, quote, five knuckle shuffle in your face, quote unquote, in your face. Now, I have heard that this particular bit of slang is in fact innuendo, referring to the act of male pleasuring himself through the immoral act of masturbation. Obviously, the Cartoon Network and a beloved children's cereal such as Fruity Pebbles, this is quite inappropriate and alarming. Further research indicates that the Five Knuckle Shuffle is in fact the name of Mr. Cena's finishing maneuvers. It was in fact named after the act of touching oneself and has been named so for almost eight years according to Wikipedia. 
on a program which was supposed to be G-rated like Monday Night Raw, which features all of the WWE wrestlers, including one Mr. Cena, a reference to the act of masturbation is not only out wildly out of place, it is tonally and totally immoral and obscene. I was disgusted to hear a reference to the immorality of masturbation while my sister enjoyed a rerun of Adventure Time. She even asked me what a five knuckle shuffle was. I only grew aware of the term from a friend in college and even then it was disgusting. I implore you to take action and spare my other families an awkward and inappropriate conversation just because Mr. Cena and post serials wish to be seen as edgy. So this is what you're dealing with. This is what you're dealing with being a PG product. You're dealing with loony bins. People who who belong in an asylum. People who are crazy. Crazy people. What do you do? What do you do, man? What do you do? WWE and all of these other companies are going... They're going woke because it's easy. But also because crazy people exist. And they want to complain. And they want a platform to complain. I wonder if you were to do another uh, FOIA request on the FCC. What kind of nonsense would you get? But... I want to open up and talk about censorship, the kind of things people are trying to get away with. I want to do like a big censorship video. It probably never actually get done. But if you have any articles that you've seen from your native country or your native area that wants to censor the silliest things like cartoons or video games or comic books or whatever, please leave it in the description and I will probably collect them and do a video on them, reading some of them if they're absurd. Um, but thank you guys for your time. Like this video and I'll talk to you guys later. Oh, non-aggression. Once that lesson sets in, you'll see a session, but you got an affection for no progression, regression. The best don't.